Hey everyone, this is Terry from Real World. Thank you for tuning in to our new I Am Real World segment. Uh, today was a gorgeous day outside after we've struggled with so much rain. Uh, we spent the whole day outside trying to catch up and uh, unfortunately we wanted to film this outside in the field today but we just didn't have enough time. So we're here in the basement tonight to go over one of the most popular questions we're getting uh, through email, our website, and uh, on social media and that is about Roundup Ready. What does Roundup Ready mean and are your beans Roundup Ready? So I want to talk to you a little bit about a few things including what Roundup Ready means and also products that we're, uh, we're, are available at your local store that um, can not only do the, what you need but save you some money. So if you look back here uh, I actually still have one of our old style packages of real world soybeans. Um, this was the old packaging before we uh, changed to rural wildlife products and developed the new bag. But you can see down here in the bottom corner we had that logo that said Roundup Ready. And uh, we're just not able to use that logo anymore due to trademarks and royalties. So uh, when we designed our new bag, our Generation 2 soybeans, we made a couple tweaks to the soybean blend to give us some higher oil, higher fat content, but we still have product that is glyphosate tolerant. So we developed a new logo here that says glyphosate tolerant. For those of you who don't know, glyphosate or glyphosate is the major ingredient herbicide inside of Roundup. So Roundup's a brand name that uses a herbicide called glyphosate or glyphosate. Okay? So both of the products are glyphosate tolerant. Okay? So we're going to we're going to use that term instead of the Roundup from now on. Okay? Now there's a lot of products when you walk into your Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Tractor Supply, Rural King, Farm Ag Co-op, that it's going to be almost overwhelming. It's kind of like walking into your uh, hunting store and seeing uh, Deer Pea, um, just all these different brand names, and it gets a little bit overwhelming. So I wanted to tell you about a few different products out there. What everybody calls Roundup, it's a great product. Um, you can find it in a lot of different uh, labeling and packaging, but you have to be really careful. Uh, in this case, this is Roundup uh, Super Concentrate. Uh, this is 50.2% um, 50 50 uh, glyphosate. Okay, so we're going to be reading the tag just like we do on all of our mineral and our seed. And I'm going to try to get this to zoom in really good. As you can see right there, the main active ingredient is glyphosate 50.2 percent that's what we want if we see anything on that ingredient list that is not glyphosate we have to stay away from it because the the soybeans are not tolerant to that they're only tolerant to this so this pa this ba uh, bottle here makes 23 gallons it would be fine to purchase and spray on your soybeans okay this product which was right next to it on the shelf when someone walks up they see Roundup Ready Weed and Grass Killer Concentrate Plus. Wow, this must be better, right? No, you really got to look at the fine print, guys. Look right here. Glyphosate, and then we have another herbicide. This is bad. We had some people use this last year and call us and uh, it basically killed their whole field of soybeans. And without looking at that fine print, it'll get yourself in trouble because they put some of this stuff in here uh, to spray for a whole lot of different applications like your driveway and your flower beds which is a great product but the, the products out there that are Roundup or glyphosate tolerant will not survive if you spray it with a chemical that has other herbicides in it so just like our seeds just like our mineral you have to understand how to read ingredients or you're going to get yourself in trouble Okay. Now there's also generics out there. Uh, my local tractor supply has this compare and save concentrate. Again, what you're going to do is you're going to come down here. You're going to look at active ingredients. And in this case, this product has 41% uh, glyphosate. So this is an okay product. Okay? So no problem there. All right? So the next thing is looking at, you know, cost savings cuz you know, I'm like anybody else. I have to do uh, my projects as cost effective as possible. So I want to look for the best way I can take care of my needs and save a little money. So I'll give, show you my receipt that uh, I got from Tractor Supply today. So um, the Super Concentrate right here was $44. Okay, 
$44, it makes 23 gallons, according to the label, okay? So, what I always do, I don't shop at Lowe's or Home Depot for chemicals like this. I'll go to a tractor supplier, Royal King, an ag store, and I'll actually not shop in the lawn and garden aisle where you see this. I'll actually go back where the sprayers are, and you'll find big two and a half gallon jugs back there. And these are concentrate, off-brand, glyphosate products. This is called Mad Dog Plus. I bought this probably two years ago for $45 and it's lasted me that long. I used the last bit of it this year spraying some baseball fields for our local Little League. So save a whole lot of money by doing that. Okay, so today I didn't find Mad Dog Plus. This one's full. But I found this at Tractor Supply. $49. Same thing. But I'm looking at that ingredient list right here where my thumb's at to make sure that I don't have any additional herbicides. You're going to see other products like 2,4-D um, and other uh, weed killers. Stay away from them unless it says glyphosate, okay? That's anything else is going to kill your beans. So you can save money by going and buying the bigger jug or you can buy the small application like this. Now, I'm not going to go into spraying applications and when to do it, how tall to do it. There is a super nice high quality production video that we have on our YouTube channel about planting instructions for soybeans. I encourage you to go watch that. It'll tell you when to spray and uh, what to do when you spray your beans after you plant. But don't think that you have to have all this equipment. Um, I actually purchased last week, I found this by my local chainsaw shop, two and a half gallon backpack sprayer. My previous one broke bought it for 50 bucks okay so you broadcast seed your beans you don't have a big tractor you don't have a, a drill um, you're worried that you can't cost effectively uh, have a soybean field guys you can crank, use a hand uh, crank spreader you can use a backpack sprayer to spray your uh, chemicals on your soybeans and have that food plot that's going to last early season through late winter for those deer very cost effective way to maintain your food plot and a great product that I believe in 100%. So, um, as always, if you have any questions, any other comments about any of our products, leave a, leave a post at the bottom, send us an email, give us a call. Uh, we'll try to get as much information out to help educate you on the products that are involved. We want you to stay tuned to our social media and uh, website. we got a lot of new things that are coming out, um, and we really look forward to talking with you about it. Uh, most of all, I'm a hunter, I'm a land manager, but most of all, I'm rewarded.